So this is my Thunder Tiger Bushmaster and I've had this car for a number of years. It was sent to me by Thunder Tiger to do a review on it and I absolutely loved it. This car did not disappoint. Uh, it performed extremely well and it was very, very durable. I have raced it against the Typhon and various other cars in race wars and things like that, but I haven't done a full-on bash video in a very, very long time. It has been years. Uh, now, Thunder Tiger did send me out a clear body back in the day when they were still dealing with me and the body kind of sat around for a long time until I got some inspiration from a build online. Somebody built a slash and converted it to something like this. They did the Beetle Baja body on it and they did it in a, in a racing green like this and it had the, the shark's mouth and I thought it looks fantastic. I really like that scheme and I thought I'd apply it here. So this is all painted on. These are not stickers. I painted this myself and of course it's the same on the other side and it's got this racing green and it really suits it. But to complete the build, I wanted to try a different set of tires. And I went with these. These are the Badlands um, 2.8 inch. And they're belted um, Max 28 or something. Um, MX 28. And these are really funky tires. Because they're, they're a lot thinner than your normal monster truck tires. So on a build like this, it actually works really well. However, there is a problem. And that is the hubs were rubbing on the wheel because the wheel uh, just isn't big enough it's just a fraction too small so i had to push the wheels out and the way i did it i got the uh, the hub extenders out of the team magic i think it was the bes or it may have been the j star one of those two um, and i just ordered those parts and i fitted them onto the hubs and bang i pushed the tires out a little bit so the buggy is a little bit wider than normal um, and you'll see that here so it's a little bit wider than normal but um, and I actually put it up against the Typhon and that to, to see that it's it's probably an inch and a half, two inches wider, which is not terrible. Now, I have driven the buggies briefly just in the car park here, and the thing drives amazing. Um, so I'm now going to take it for a bash. We're on 4S first. The electrics are all standard, except the ESC. I think this was originally a 4S version, and I was running an XR8 ESC in here at one point uh, from Hobbywing, and now I've switched it out to just a standard... 150 amp uh, rebranded ESC it may have come off another car I think may have been a Habao ESC or something like that the motor standard I'm running a 20 tooth pinion and we're on 4s standard steering servo sorry the shadow is probably not showing too much there but uh, yeah that's the electrics there and uh, we're gonna see how this thing goes I haven't driven this in years I can't remember the last time I drove this car um, but yeah going for a bash now this is going to be really interesting i i love the look of it i almost don't want to wreck it so i'm hoping i don't but let's see how she goes i've not driven this car in so long Whew. lots of power lots of grip nice white stance very unique looking vehicle now with that offset and those tires I could have kept it um, and of course just so you know as well the hub on the tires needed to be 17 mil so you got to buy those separately uh, which I think I had I think Thunder um, Proline actually sent me some spare hubs quite a while ago and I think I had them I can't remember I may have bought them um, but yeah, in order to fit on this car, you do need to convert those 2.8 to 17 mil. But man, you know, belted tires that are a little bit, a little bit wider than your, than your typical buggy tire, but narrower than an MT tire. And it just gives this a unique look, a unique feel. And this is just on forest. I do have a, a charged 6S battery to go in here. So, I don't know if I'm going to use it, to be honest. Oh, tracking beautifully straight. Very, very nice. Now, if you follow the channel, you've been following the channel for a long time, you'll probably remember the crash that I had with this thing at the old BMX track. If I still have footage of it, I'll, uh, I'll put it up. Oh, oh wow. Wow, that was really bad. Okay, that's where the car is. Seems intact. One battery went flying over here. The other one's gone over the fence. 
let's go have a look see what's actually uh, broken but it was a huge stack the battery jack because i bent the motor mount it was a huge crash because i was trying to launch the car and land on the other platform and it didn't quite work out that way Well, behave yourself. So these tires on grass is just, it's like having spikes on. It's, it's just, they grip way too aggressively. But on the gravel here, oh. Sublime. Oof. There's so much, so much spray coming off the back of that car, just on 4S. Can you imagine this thing on 6S? Far out, man. This thing's unbelievable. It handles so well. It tracks so well. I'm really happy with this build. <laughs> if I do say so myself, I'm going to brag. I don't care. I'm going to brag. This thing is amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's unique. It looks different. It feels a little different. It's a hybrid between a truggy and a buggy. You know, it's, it's so cool. I'm loving it, absolutely loving it so far. And this is just on 4S, what a weapon. The tires just grip so hard on the grass that as soon as you try to counter the, it, their grip, the thing just tumbles over. All right, we'll do one more and uh, we'll pack it in for the, uh, for the bigger jumps and we'll move on. Nice. Alrighty, let's go on the big boy jumps. <laughs> oh no, no, come on, are you serious? Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Where are you going? Oh, come on. Oh, why am I missing the jump now? What's going on? All right, let's, let's go off the boom there. Come on, line her up. Are we all good? Oh, I lost one of the back panels. That's what I saw shiny on the ground. Uh, we'll go get it later. I lost one of the little back panels on the car. That's all right, I'm not too concerned about that. <laughs> that thing just glides through the air. Oh, I love it. I love this car. Oh my god, this thing is awesome. If you have one, you got to do this. And a backflip because why not? The jump helped a lot there. I didn't I really didn't have anything to do with that. That almost did it by itself. I thought it was going to auto-rotate and as soon as I let go of the throttle it just stayed horizontal. I'm like, oh god, got to punch it again. This thing is unbelievable. I'm in love with this car. It drives so well. It looks freaking sick. I don't care what you say. And sails through the air like, oh my god, it's got wings. Oh man, Thunder Tiger, where are you, man? Why haven't you done more cars? You had such a huge following with the MT4. 
and the ST4, which I still have, by the way. I still have my ST4 all the way. I mean, that car's now eight years old. Whoa. This is such a beast of a car. And I don't know, Thunder Tiger just didn't capitalize on this car. They should have done more. I don't know where they are. I don't know what's happened to them. Thunder Tiger, if you're listening, man, hit me up. Let me work with you again. Let's do some more content. Bring out some more cars. This thing is so cool. What an awesome car. Oh, yeah. Woo. I could do this all day. This car is amazing. It just sails for days. It's just so well balanced. Oppa. So well balanced. Oh, <laughs> and this is on 4S. But at least, you know what? I can put the power down. You know, if this was 6S, I'll probably be all over the road. But at least here, I can, I can use the power in my throttle range and put it on the ground for the most part, I guess. Oh, this thing's unreal. Oh, getting out of shape. <laughs> no! Oh, you bastard. All right. Let's do a couple of sends here before the battery dies on us. Oh. Oh, no. Well, that's LVC. Oh, no, and I busted it. No! What did I break? No! <laughs> what did I break? Or was it just... Oh, I think the piston... Did it snap or... Hang on. No, I think the piston may have come off. Um, so it might be in there. Or... I've actually snapped the shaft, which would be a shame. So I'll need to investigate that. I can't remember if these were actually screwed on with like a little screw on top. Um, and of course, I got to try and find my um, shock spring retainer as well. Well, LVC last jump, and I managed to wreck it just on that on that awful landing. Oh no! In my body, look, because the body was so old, I reckon it's fatigued and it's cracked. Um, oh no, it's broken on the front as well too. Ugh. Damn! What a shame. Spent so much time painting it too. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. I still love it. Um, I don't care. It's an awesome car and I'm glad I brought it out and had some fun with it. Um, I'll try and find another body for it uh, and maybe I'll just paint up just a, a plainer color maybe this time around or I might do it again. Same thing. Who knows? Who cares? I love this car and I'm keeping it forever. That's it for me guys. Thank you for watching. Speak to you next time.